Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. As much as I love Linux, it's definitely not perfect. So today I'm going to be talking about my top five annoying things in Linux, starting with my number five, which is fragmentation. One of the most powerful things that Linux offers is choice. Whether you are a general user like myself and you love using Linux Mint, or maybe you prefer Ubuntu or something like Peppermint Linux or old school like Fedora or how about Solus or maybe you like something a little prettier like KDE Neon or you can also look through the many hundreds of other versions or distros that Linux offers and so while all this choice can be extremely liberating it can also be a huge problem when you're trying to keep everything under control so that's why we talk about fragmentation when we talk about the Linux world and so this is definitely not something new. If you think about the whole mobile space with Android versus iOS, that is the one thing that is brought up quite frequently. And this usually becomes a problem when people talk about system updates and so forth, you know, where you don't have the newest version, you don't have the latest security versions, and that causes a lot of problems. So that is just one area where fragmentation can be an issue and this is something that is pretty much unavoidable with so many different versions so many different communities and they're basically their own platform it's pretty much impossible and it's a way of life for a lot of linux users which leads me to number four and that is consistent design now whenever we think about other operating systems like windows and especially apple we do make fun of them for so many things. Uh, one, in Microsoft, obviously, there's so many areas that we can pick and choose to say, wow, this is really not a secure system. There's privacy concerns. And then in the whole Apple world, we could talk about things like the walled garden and how limited it is and how much control they have over your experience. But the one thing that both of them have is a consistent design. So when you look through here through Windows 10, it looks the same okay it functions the same pretty much through anything you use and the same thing happens in the whole Apple Mac OS world and even more so because Apple has a lot more control of their ecosystem so whatever you're using within these environments they have a consistent design a consistent look and feel now when you do come to Linux that's really simply not the case because of the fact that it is open source in nature and what I just talked about a little bit earlier where there is fragmentation that not only affects the version of your operating system that you're using but it also affects other things such as a consistent look and design so whenever you're looking here it could look wildly different from another application you know like for example if I just look at these windows, even though I am using it, another theme, there is some consistency, but not at the level of something like this. Okay. And so that is something that you do grow accustomed to whenever you are using Linux. However, it's definitely not something that people who are coming over to Linux at the beginning will probably enjoy at first until they get used to it. So now, my number three annoying thing is the whole Linux elitist community. Now, there's definitely going to be super fanboys and fangirls in every community. But the thing in the whole Linux community is that they have this whole idea in general that open source is basically the only thing that should be available. Okay, it is the best thing that is around. So basically, open source good and then proprietary bad you know so that's the simplest way that I could put that and then the problem with that is whenever you are such a Linux elitist you are really not open to the many other benefits that the proprietary world offers because in my opinion software they're just tools okay you know whether it's an operating system whether it is the programs that you use they are just tools, you know, and for myself, Linux is the best overall tool that is available for me. But 
with the whole Linux elitist community. And once again, these are super fans. They really do not take the time to really look at the many benefits that the other side offers. Okay, and I could say the same about Windows and Apple fans as well. However, the Linux elitist community, they are very, very passionate about their operating system and the community that they have. And sometimes it could throw new users off whenever they meet people who are in that particular group. Okay, so now that leads me to the number two annoying thing. And it's very similar to this whole Linux elitist community. And that is the whole free mentality. Um, that is something that is extremely annoying to me because whenever you have that mentality because a lot of things in open source are free it gets to the point where a person who is in the whole free mentality world they expect that everything should be free and that if people who, who charge anything that they're actually evil and other things that they think about is the fact that big corporations are bad and small independent companies are good so that's just a very oversimplification and very similar to the whole thing that I talked about consistency. It does give you a very narrow focus on what is actually being offered to you because all of these programs, these communities, uh, these services that you're using, they cost money. OK, so whenever you have this free mentality, you have a lot of this expectation that things should be given to you instead of you actually seeing the work that is going in to provide this and the value that you're getting. And so I think whenever people have that free mentality, they only look to see what they could get out of it instead of seeing what they could give to the communities or to the creators so that they can actually use all these amazing software and services. And the real simple analogy that I can use whenever I do think about people who are in the free mentality mindset which is quite a few uh, people within the whole Linux community is the fact that if you have a job you're gonna get paid most people do not work for free and then if they take that same concept and go over to the whole Linux world or the whole open source world as a whole then I think they would be more willing to actually contribute uh, whether it's money or time and also have an appreciation for the people who are actually creating all of those things and so that is the number two thing that really annoys me is this whole idea this whole free mentality that everything should be given to you instead of seeing the value that has been created and now let's go ahead and get to the number one thing that really annoys me about Linux and that is more people should use it <laughs> period and so I think everybody is aware of this. Uh, whenever they go into a coffee shop, I'm pretty sure they see a lot of Apple logos on the, their laptops. And it's so annoying to me. And I just see them as really expensive Facebook machines. And I know a lot of Linux users have said that before. And I would really love to see more people use Linux. You know, and so, um, and what I mean by that is out in public, you know, when you go to a Starbucks or something like that, instead of seeing pretty much nothing but Apple logos or Windows laptops, I would like to see some Linux laptops out there, you know, people talking about Linux, you know, so those are things that would be so awesome out in the real world, especially here in the United States where the whole idea of the general public having a Linux desktop is pretty much a fantasy and so that is it for my top five annoying things in Linux these are things that just bug me you know but they're obviously not things that are so bad that they prevent me from using my favorite operating system of all time and so if you really had any thoughts on any of the things that I talked about or any of your own annoying things that you find in Linux be sure to leave it in the comments area below and as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, 
head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.